What's going on everybody, Jade up here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ad pools and veteran kinds ages, how we do them uh, as a group. And um, yeah, I've just been getting a lot of questions on how to do them and I, I just get tired of explaining it. So I'm just gonna make a video on it. Uh, and again, more than likely you'll have two tanks here. Uh, so I will be explaining everything as if we had two tanks uh, in the video. Obviously we only use one, so uh, for the most part. Uh, also, these ad pulls will be slowed down, just like in the last three videos that I made over Veteran Kinds Ages. Uh, the last three videos I made were Veteran Kinds Ages uh, hard mode boss fights and um, mechanics. So uh, I'll leave those down in the description down below uh, if you want to check those out. So let's go ahead and get things started. So first things first, your group more than likely will have two tanks, obviously, right? You'll have a main tank and an off tank and they'll... You'll run like certain gear for ad, for ad pulls and then certain gear for boss fights. Um, I'll list down in the description some gear options that you would probably run as a main tank or at least what I run. Uh, there's already a video out that I put like uh, a main tank build video guide for this. Uh, as far as like the off tank, I'll list some uh, gear that you could put or that you could wear. Uh, obviously, that's up to your raid lead and what they want. It also depends on your group comp. If you're going to have uh, four mag, four stam, uh, or if you're going to have eight mag and eight or eight stam, it's totally up to your group comp. Uh, also, what I'll do is I'll list a kill order for each individual ad pool. Uh, keep in mind that uh, I'll not talk about the smaller ads that much, as they don't do that much damage, and they usually sh and they should die pretty quickly. Um, so what I'll list is something like, uh, you know, first ad pull, focus, um, you know, this ad, then focus this one, uh, and then drop, you know, this many Duster ultis or whatever, uh, build ultis here, you know, whatever, right? Um, that'll all be listed in the description down below. So if you want to check that out. So let's uh, go ahead and get things started and we'll talk about the first ad pull. Okay, so let's go ahead and review the first ad pull. You will have two big ads that need to be taunted immediately. A uh, half giant raider and a half giant bulwark. Now being that we have two tanks, one tank will grab one, uh, one raider and the other one will grab the bulwark. Taunt these ads and I like to sometimes dodge roll past them uh, so that I take no damage. And also when you dodge roll attacks, you gain ultimate. So it's kind of like a win-win there. Um, what the raider will do is he'll throw a spear at a uh, at the target he's aggroed on. Uh, other than that, he doesn't really do anything special. The bulwark will do a cone attack sometimes to the player he's targeted on. Uh, so just be f be sure to face him away from the group. Also, what he'll do is he'll place a roughly an eight meter AOE around himself, making enemies in that AOE take less damage. Uh, other than that, just pull the small ads in and uh, everything should be fine they should die to cleave all right so now we're going to talk about the second ad pull uh you'll have a half giant tidebreaker bulwark and then a raider what i will do uh what i would do if i had two tanks is well, one tank grab the tidebreaker only and the other tank grab the bulwark and the raider taunt them and do the same as before dodge roll past them and if you like um so you take no damage and you gain a little bit of ultimate the tidebreaker also does uh cone attack just like the bulwark does uh, he does it more often so again face him away from the group the tidebreaker will also take a knee sticking his greatsword in the ground after about five seconds a giant aoe of wave will shoot from him and then as a dps you can either dodge roll it or block it i suggest dodge rolling it uh, as you will take no damage uh, this is a huge aoe and it's about 15 meters or so uh wide like it's it's ridiculously huge so just pay attention to that all right, so now we're on the third ad pull. It's uh, pretty much like the second ad pull. Uh, what you'll have is one a Tidebreaker and two Raiders. Again, one tank grab the Tidebreaker and the other grab both Raiders. Uh, I like to face these ads facing towards the west side, or if you're going into the pool, I like facing them to the left. Uh, that way, you're always facing towards... The ads are always facing towards the way that you uh, will be going, right? Because uh, that's the way the DPS and most people are going to be facing. 
Uh, keep in mind to face the tidebreaker away from group. I don't. It doesn't really matter which way you face them, but that's just the way I like to face them. Uh, again, you have two tanks there, so pulling the ads. I shouldn't need to say that every time. Uh, that's just kind of like self-explanatory tanking 101. Pull in smaller ads uh, that can be chained in. All right, now we're on the fourth ad pull. Uh, the fourth ad pull has nothing crazy. just has uh, two raiders, a bunch of other small ads. Uh, one tank can take both raiders uh, or, you know, one tank grab one raider, the other one grab the other, and then just pull in the smaller ads again. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, really easy to do. Probably one of the easiest ad pulls uh, in the game, in, in the game or just in general. The fifth ad pull is a bit tricky. Uh, you have two bulwarks, one tiebreaker, and a new ad called a half giant stormcaller. Now the stormcaller has a beam shooting from its left hand into the sky. What this does is it shoots down little AOE lightnings that will hit in a random location and on top of players. So just be aware and stay moving if you are a DPS. Uh, since there are two bulwarks, what I would do is have one tank grab one bulwark and place it on the storm collar and then i would have the other tank grab the other bulwark and the tiebreaker and hold those together the reason being is that uh, you don't want to have both bulwarks to lay down both of their defensive aoe's on top of each other because then it will just take forever for them to die so it's better just to separate those and then be good all right so now we're on the sixth ad pull we have uh, two tiebreakers and one raider one tank grab one tidebreaker, uh, pull in the smaller adds. The other tank can grab the other tidebreaker and the raider. Uh, remember to face the tidebreakers away from the group. And I like to kind of stack these uh, just kind of like where they are, as you can see here. All right, so now we're on the seventh ad pull, uh, which will have two bulwarks, one shaman uh, with some smaller adds. The shaman will do two healing abilities. Uh, both abilities you may have seen before. One is a giant AOE heal, and the other was an, is a single target heal. Uh, both can be bashed, so just keep an eye out for that. One tank should take one bulwark, prefer preferably the left one, and then go ahead and stack it on top of the shaman. Which the other tank should grab the other bulwark and stack it away from group. Uh, you could also have that tank pull in the other smaller adds. Uh, again, keep in mind that the bulwarks will do that cone-like AOE, so face them away from the group. All right, so we're on the eighth Adipol, and uh, this one has one Tidebreaker, one Shaman, one Bulwark, one Stormcaller. Uh, of course, and then obviously some little ads. It's totally up to your raid lead how they want to handle this Adipol, uh, and kind of up to you guys as well as the tanks. Uh, so there's several different ways to do this ad pulls, and I'm just going to give you a list of two. Uh, one of them is a little bit safer, and the one and the other one is the way we're doing it now. One way is to have one tank grab the tidebreaker and the shaman, and just stack those two together. The other one is to grab the bulwark and stack it on top of the storm collar. That's one way you can do it. Uh, the other way that we do it here is uh, you can have one tank. Uh, grab the bulwark and the tidebreaker and stack them right next to the storm collar and then have the other tank grab the shaman and run into the tent so that it stacks on top of the storm collar. Keep in mind that you need to let your DPS know that one person needs to pay attention to the shaman because he will, uh, he or she will begin to start healing somebody. So he just needs to be bashed. Uh, and then he'll immediately run up on top of the storm collar. Uh, other than that, uh, those are two different ways to do the ad pulls. It's totally up to you on how uh, you want to proceed with that one. All right, so now we're on the ninth ad pull. Uh, it's a very easy one. You have uh, two raiders and one shaman. Uh, you can do this uh, a few different ways. One tank can grab all three of those big ads, uh, stack them together on top of the hill, and then have the other tank pull in the smaller ads. Uh, or you could have one tank grab the, um, you know, the two raiders, the other one taunt the shaman, and then pull in the other ads. It's, it's kind of up to you on how you want to do it, but I like to kind of stack them uh, wherever the shaman is. All right, so now we're on the 10th ad pull. Uh, this one has a new ad called the infusers. And the main thing you want to pay attention to when dealing with them is the enrage mechanic. There's going to be three infusers, by the way. The enrage mechanic looks as if you're doing remembrance ultimate uh, from the Templar. Uh, you can bash this mechanic or you can have a DK run deep breath. 
One tank may grab the infuser to the right as seen in the video. Just copy what I'm doing. The other tank may grab the other two infusers stacking them together. If you're grabbing the two infusers, you'll want to grab the one by the tent and the one from the left. Run back to where you came from, then run to where you will be going so that the ads will stack in one spot and close together as seen in the video. Okay, so now we're on the 11th ad pool. You'll have three infusers and then one new ad called the Crimson Knight. The Crimson Knight will have two mechanics. One mechanic is that he will grow big and enrage, turning red, as you can see in the video here. And then next he'll do a heavy attack every once in a while. Just dodge roll this mechanic. If you get hit by it, you'll get hit really hard. One tank may grab the Crimson Knight and then the other tank may grab the three infusers. Taunt those three infusers and stack them together. The two infusers will always normally be next to the Crimson Knight, and the other one may or may not be to the right of the ad pulls. Take the Crimson Knight and stack them on the two infusers so that everything gets cleaved down, then have the other tank just pull that third infuser in if he's out of the group. The 12th ad pool will have one Bitter Knight and four infusers. The Bitter Knight will have one very important mechanic. He will place a cage on one random person. I believe the cage is placed on the furthest player away, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, have one tank grab the Bitter Knight and, gra and have the other tank grab the four infusers. If you're grabbing the four infusers, do what I do in the video. You must kill the cage that is placed on the player or the player will die. If the cage is placed on a player and the Bitter Knight dies a few seconds later, you will not have to kill the cage. He will be freed. The player will be freed. If the cage is placed on a player as the bitter net is dying or dies and it places the cage on a player, you'll have to turn and kill the cage immediately. Uh, also keep in mind that having one DK with deep breath on for the four infusers for the rage mechanic is, uh, is very helpful. So the 13th ad pull We'll have one Bulwark, one Raider, one Tidebreaker, one Shaman, and two Infusers. One Infuser will be to the far left of the group by the barn, and the other Infuser will be to the far right of the map. There will also be one new add uh, called the Blood Knight. The Blood Knight will place a cross that deals a crazy amount of line damage that shoots about 28 meters in all four directions. The cross will always go in front of the ad, behind the ad, and to the left and right of whichever way the Blood Knight is facing. So make sure that the DPS is placed diagonal of the Blood Knight. The last big ad is the score, uh, the Stormcaller. He's in the very back. You can ignore him up until you kill all of these ads. So we have three players with taunt on this ad pull. We have one DPS that will taunt the left infuser and he runs to the right, so uh, far to the right, so that the left infuser is in the group. We then have the off tank. Uh, what he does is he grabs the raider uh, that spawns on the right and then grabs the infuser that is way on the right side. He then runs all the way to the left to the barn so that the one infuser that's far to the right stacks in the center of all the ads. The main tank, myself, will grab the Shaman, the Bulwark, and the Tidebreaker, and then the Blood Knight. Pay close attention to, uh, to how I'm uh, stacking these ads and what I'm doing. Um, also pay close attention to the Tidebreaker, as that he does the cone attack quite a bit here, and it will one-shot and kill the DPS if they're not paying attention. So, if you pay attention on how I do these ad pulls, um, and how I'm moving the Tidebreaker, I'm slowly moving backwards um, so that the Tidebreaker will always shoot that cone attack towards me. Uh, and the same goes for the, um, the Bulwark. This pull will take a lot of practice, so just keep that in mind. Well, I hope this video helped uh, your group on how to do some of these ad pulls. Again, in the description down below is a list of the ad pulls on what to focus. Uh, and when the drop ultimates, when the build ultimates and stuff like that, uh, remember to like and subscribe to this video helps you out in some way, shape or form. Uh, and uh, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.